Hey, how you doing? Thanks for checking out my Flex Belt review here at uh, myflexbeltreview.com. Uh, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the Flex Belt really quickly. Um, just drop my bag here for it. Um, the belt itself, I just finished doing a session. I uh, put the plastic pieces back on the gel pads. So I just want to talk a little bit about the pros and cons and my take on whether this is worth it for you or not. So. Um, the belt itself, pretty simple, you know, it's uh, it's pretty comfortable, it's got some Velcro here uh, on the inside, you see those little white marks on the side here, that adjusts where you put the small gel pad on the inside, so depending on what your waist size is, you can adjust it for wider. Um, there's three gel pads on the inside, right now I've got the plastic coverings over them, um, they're just like that, they come off. You take those off each time you're using it, of course, and the gel pads are what touches your skin, and that's what the electronic muscle stimulation sends the little pulsations through. The gel pad gives it a bigger surface area, um, so it's, you just don't have one little pinpoint on your, on your skin. Um, a note, if you order it, don't forget to keep these. My first set of gel pads, I chucked those out. That caused some problems I didn't understand. I was trying to store it in the nice little bag it comes with, uh, so when I wasn't wearing it, but I was like, how the heck do I fold this thing up? You know, I, I threw it the plastic pieces and I talked to Flex Belt customer support and they said, oh, you, you can't chuck those out. So I had to get a new set of gel pads and um, yeah, so just hold on to those. This allows you to sort of just fold it up and uh, you can store it really easily, right? Big pro of the Flex Belt is this little thing here. It disconnects from the belt like that. It's uh, the remote plus it's the battery. So I'll show you inside here. Uh, there's a little AC adapter that comes with it. This here and this connects like so. You plug this in, it charges. It doesn't take too long to charge. Um, and I've been getting, give or take, like three weeks or so out of a single charge. But it has a little display on there so it shows you how much battery you've got left. Um, don't forget to charge it when you first get it home. Uh, I didn't do that and then I went to you know, pop it in and realize it was dead and I couldn't use it the first time. Sort of an oversight on my part. Um, the, the belt itself has 150 intensity levels. I'm up to about 80 right now. Uh, intensity levels sort of mean the, the amount of uh, jolt you're getting from the, the EMS, the electronic muscle stimulation. As you go up the ladder, you know, your abs are getting a little stronger. They're able to, t to uh, take a little more intensity. Um, and that's mixed with the different programs that come with it. The programs in the belt are basically, um, has a bit, it's almost like an interval workout for your abdominals. So what happens is on the lower uh, programs, what happens is it's sort of like it comes on for a few seconds, it goes off for a few seconds, it comes on, it goes off. As you go up, it sort of mixes that up, so it almost creates like a muscle confusion. So you'll like it'll come on for two seconds, then off for a second, on. It kind of like gives you a few quick zaps, and then it'll slow down, and it'll pardon me, it'll slowly work up to the maximum intensity, then back down, and then it'll go back quick again. Anyways, it's it's like it allows your abs never to get used to the exact program that is being used, which I think is a bonus because that helps improve the uh, the results that you'll get from the device, right? Um, I've been using it off and on, uh, which is something I'll speak to in a second here, for about five weeks now, and I've gone from starting at intensity level 40, I'm up to 80, 85 now, I'm using program seven, I think is what I'm at right now. There's a little table in the manual that outlines uh, a suggested workout plan for how to build up over six weeks, using it, I believe, five days a week what intensity level you should start at, what program level you should start at, and then how to work up. If you follow that, it's kind of a foolproof way to uh, to get the most out of this. The thing that I've been having trouble with is more just a self-discipline thing. You know, I wear it one week for four or five times and I miss a week, then I'll wear it a couple times the next week and it's just, I got, just gotta stay on top of it. It's, it's just me, you know, I'm having trouble sticking with it, I guess. Um, I run as well, so that helps, uh, I guess, I'm, I'm pretty lean as it is, um, but if you're someone who doesn't do any other physical activity, you might want to look at picking up something, whether it be swimming, walking, biking, a little jog, whatever. Um, that can help uh, shed a few pounds if you've got them around the midsection so that when this device is doing its thing, which is strengthening, toning, and firming your abdominals, that's going to shine through. If you've got any sort of belly fat there, then unfortunately what happens is that covers up your abs, right? Um, which is something else I'll speak to. The Flex Belt, when you purchase it from their official website, 
you get access to some diet software, which I haven't used in depth yet, but it looks pretty good. And it's sort of a way to track your daily calorie intake, what you're eating and that sort of thing. If you've never done that, like Weight Watchers or any of these sort of uh, weight plans that use points or calorie counting, it can really blow your mind if you're not aware of how many calories you're eating in a day. Uh, you know, if you only need 2,500 and you're eating 4,000, well then, it, you know, unless you're burning off that extra 15 or 2,000 calories, um, 1,500, pardon me, then yeah, here it's going to turn into additional body fat somewhere, right? So that's a good feature. So they really set you up to succeed with the belt, but of course it's up to you to make sure that you do uh, the two things, which is wear the belt consistently, uh, use it, and maintain, you know, some other healthy lifestyle uh, habits such as, you know, get your six to eight glasses of water a day because you will, you know, you'll hold on to some water weight if you're not getting enough water each day, which can bulk you up a little bit when you don't need to be. Uh, monitor your diet, of course, and uh, I would suggest probably supplementing with a little bit of cardio activity as well. And something else I want to speak to, because I, I've looked at a lot of review sites, you know, I looked at the Flex Belt, I looked at the competitive products, and none of these are, you know, it's not a silver bullet solution. You're not going to wear this for six weeks and all of a sudden look like a, a men's fitness model on the cover of Men's Health, right? So what what you might want to do, you know, I haven't done this and it's something I might consider, but adding in some crunches and sit-ups isn't going to hurt and then this is sort of like the icing on the cake. It's going to help sort of shape and tone everything up. But, you know, from a strengthening perspective and also from bulking up the muscles, uh, electronic muscle stimulation is good at bulking and strengthening and toning and defining, but it, it's not necessarily just EMS on its own isn't going to give you super huge abdominal muscles. You're going to want to add in some other supplementary exercises as well, whether that be, you know, leg lifts, crunches, sit-ups, whatever it might be. Um, but overall, you know, I, the belt's the belt's built really well. Um, it's got a money back guarantee. I haven't used it, of course, because I've still got mine here. But um, if you send it back, you know, you'll get a refund. Um, you do have to send it back to them. But, you know, it allows you to sort of test it out, see how you like it, see if it's for you. Um, the sensation you get while you're wearing it, it's kind of like a warm buzz. It doesn't hurt. Um, if you wear it a little bit too low, then it can hit your hip bone, I found, and that'll send sort of a little weird sensation through your leg. So you'll know if you get that, you can just move it up. But um, the gel pads can get a little cold. Uh, where I'm at right now, it's starting to get uh, winter time. So this is down in my basement in my rec room here, and it gets a little warm or a little cool overnight. So you know, when you first put it on your belly or whatever, it's a little chilly. Uh, but the gel pads, they stick very well. The Velcro holds it on really well. Um, and put, peeling it off after you're done, you sort of just, uh, it shuts off on its own, so I'm gonna just put my thumb down underneath the gel pad to pull it away. Because if you just try and pull the belt off, then the gel pads can sometimes come off a little bit from the belt itself. Uh, just to speak to the gel pads, like I mentioned earlier, I had to get a second set because of the screw up I had with the plastic coating, but I'd go ahead and order at least an extra set when you order the belt initially, because you're gonna need them no matter what. Um, and I haven't ever seen them locally anywhere. So I've seen them on eBay, Amazon, and of course from the official site. But if you order it with the belt and you'll get an extra set and away you go, you'll be set when you need them. Um, so yeah, so if, you're, if you want to try one of these belts, I think this is probably uh, a safe bet. Um, it's cleared as a class two medical device, I believe it is, by the FDA. Exactly what a class two medical device is, I'm not sure. But uh, electronic muscle stimulation is used by physical therapists and physiotherapists around the world every day. Um, I've had it done to different muscles in my legs before and I've had running injuries for rehabilitation. It works, you know, they wouldn't use it in that field otherwise. Um, so the science is safe and uh, yeah, I say give it a try. If you got any questions, just post a comment um, on my site, myflexbeltreview.com and I'll try and reply to you uh, as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Cheers.